Hello, Year 9s. Hope you're well. Um, hope you enjoyed your half term and you're ready for your last six or seven weeks of um, Year 9. Can't believe you're going to be in Year 10 soon. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the perimeter of 2D shapes. For the next two weeks or so, we're going to be looking at shapes. So we're going to start today on perimeter. Uh, the next two days after that, we're going to look at area. And then we're going to move on to some circles and find their perimeter and area. Today we're just going to be looking at the perimeter of 2D shapes, so you can get that title down in your exercise book or on your piece of paper or wherever you happen to be writing, and then you can pause this video and you can do the starter. Alright, so you get on with that and I'll get on with the answers. All right, your nine, there's your answers. So you can go ahead and mark those in any color that you would like, and then we'll get started on finding some perimeters. All right, so example one, what is the perimeter of this rectangle? So in case you forgot, the perimeter is the distance around the outside of the shape. So for this particular rectangle, um, we can see that one side is four centimeters and one side is eight centimeters. If this side over here is four centimeters, then that must mean that this side over here is also four centimeters because opposite sides of a rectangle are the same. If this side down here is eight centimeters, then this side up here must also be eight centimeters. So we want to find out what is the distance around the entire rectangle. So we want to go all the way over here, which we know is eight. We want to go all the way up here, which is four, all the way across here, which is also eight, and then back down this side, which is four. So we can add up eight plus four plus eight plus four, which is 24. Um, and if you don't want to do it like that, you can say two lots of eight plus two lots of four. Um, that's absolutely fine as well. So you've got 16 plus eight, which is also equal to 24. Now, when we measure the perimeter, we measure it in just normal centimeters or meters or whatever units they give us them in because we could measure the distance around the outside of a rectangle using a ruler and a ruler measures centimeters often. Okay, so that is the most basic way to do this. Let's look at some slightly more complicated ones. All right, in this particular question, there is nothing really fancy going on. There's no shortcuts we can make. There's nothing sneaky we can do to make this quicker. What is the perimeter of this shape? So to do that, we just have to go around the entire shape. So we want this side plus that 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 side. It doesn't matter that it's not just a rectangle. Um, it really makes no difference. We just add up all the sides. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six numbers we have to add together. So I'm going to do them in a column. Five plus four plus two plus eight plus four plus six. So let's go ahead and add those together. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 19, uh, 29, I think. I make it to be 29. Hopefully I did that correctly. 10, 29, yep. All right, there we go. There's the perimeter. The perimeter of this shape is 29 centimeters. All right, what about this particular question? What is the perimeter of this square? Ooh, of this square. There's only one number here. I don't know how we're going to find the distance around the entire shape. Oh, it said square. Maybe you remember that a square has all the sides which are exactly the same. So all of them are four. So we want four lots of four, which is 16 centimeters. If you don't like multiplying, you could have just added four lots of four as well. That would also be completely acceptable. Okay. This is a slightly different version of this question. Uh, they're still asking us what's the perimeter of the shape, but as you can see, there's no actual numbers on the shape. They did tell us in this key over here that um, these tiny little blue squares, the outsides of them, each side of them is one centimeter. So that must mean that this is one centimeter and this is one centimeter and so are all of these. So we want to check all of these different sides here because we want to find this shape. We want to know what is this distance around here. Everything that I'm tracing in blue is the outside or the perimeter of this particular shape. So we want to find out how many smaller blue lines make up this particular shape. So there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18. So the perimeter of this shape is 18 centimeters. Moving on to the really fancy things, um, this is still asking us to do the same thing. What is the perimeter of this shape? Um, except for I'm not sure we have all of the sides that we need. So if we're looking for the perimeter, we're looking for the distance around the outside. So we want this side and that side, and we want this side, which seems to be missing. Uh, this side over here, this long side here, and this tall side over here. Now I can see that we've got four numbers, but we don't have this side here, and we don't have this side over here. So we need to find those two question marks first so we can figure out how big they are. All right, well, I'm gonna start with this question mark over here. So I know that to get from one side of this shape to the other side, it's 14. I also know that to get from here to here, it's five. So then the bit that's left over over here must be 14 take away 5, which is 9. So instead of this being a question mark, we now know it's 9 centimeters. Okay, and then same, well, kind of the same for this side over here. Um, we know that to get from here to here, it is 3 centimeters. And we know that to get from the top to where that ended was 4 centimeters. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Now we know that this side is 7. Now that we know all the sides, we can go ahead and add them together. So we've got 5 plus 4 plus 9 plus 3 plus 14 plus 7. So I ticked the sides as I went so that I could know that I've made sure that I got all the sides in this particular shape. So let's go ahead and add that. 5 plus 4 is 9, 18, 21, 35, 42. 42 centimeters is the perimeter here. All right, we've got one last example and then you're all done for today. What's the perimeter of this shape? Again, we only have two of the three sides, so that's a bit of a concern. We can see that across the bottom is 6.3 centimeters and we can see this right side over here is 7.6 centimeters. But what about this left side? How are we gonna find that? And why does this shape have really angry eyebrows? Oh, I don't think they're angry eyebrows. I think that these two lines here, this line and this line here, they tell us that this shape has two sides that are the exact same length. Oh, this is an isosceles triangle. It has two equal sides. So if this side is 7.6, this side is also 7.6. And then we can go ahead and find the perimeter by adding all three of those together. Make sure you line up your decimals. 6, 12, 15, carry the 1, 14, 20, 21, and include the decimal. The perimeter is 21.5 centimeters. All right, that is your lesson on perimeter of 2D shapes. So now I can go ahead and try the two main tasks that are in the PowerPoint. All right, have a good day.